the example determine the eigen values and eigen vectors of the matrix a is equal to again uh, now a is what of order 3 by 3 in the previous uh, two examples a is of order 2 by 2 so uh, here is the uh, order of a is 3 by 3 or a is a square matrix of order 3 then we have to find the characteristic polynomial of a so first find determinant of a minus lambda i or determinant of lambda i minus a so we have this a lambda i as the identity matrix of order 3 by 3 1 0 0 0 1 0 0 0 1 then first multiply by lambda to each element so we have the matrix lambda 0 0 0 lambda 0 0 0 lambda and then subtraction 6 minus lambda then minus 2 minus 0 is minus 2 2 minus 0 is 2 and then this we have and then uh, we have to find the determinant so 6 minus lambda in bracket in square bracket this into this 3 minus lambda into 3 minus lambda is 3 minus lambda square Mi minus this into this actually minus 1 into minus 1 is plus 1 so minus plus 1 means minus 1 minus of this minus of minus 2 in bracket minus 2 into 3 minus lambda uh, minus 2 into minus 1 is uh, plus 2 right and then 2 and this minus 2 into uh, minus 1 is plus 2 minus this 2 into 3 minus lambda okay so after solving this we have minus lambda cube plus lambda square minus 36 lambda plus 32 if we find determinant of lambda i minus a instead of this if you find determinant of lambda i minus a then what we have the answer lambda i minus a determinant of lambda minus a is lambda cube minus 12 lambda square my uh, plus 36 lambda minus 32 we have this answer if you find uh, lambda i minus a determinant of lambda i minus a and this is the characteristic polynomial of the matrix a so find a minus lambda i or lambda i minus a uh, we know that in the previous uh, in the previous lectures uh, in the first lecture of this topic uh, we I find the eigenvalues and eigenvectors of the matrix by using that method a minus lambda i minus a so for example these these examples if you consider this in then you, this is lambda i minus a instead of a minus lambda i find lambda i minus a then uh, determinant of lambda i minus a okay first find lambda i minus a lambda i minus a is like uh, lambda into i means uh, 1 0 0 1 minus a then multiply by lambda and then subtract and then we have this is the direct characteristic polynomial determinant of lambda i minus a if you find a minus lambda i determinant of a minus lambda i then change the sign of that we then we have the characteristic polynomial and uh, determinant of lambda minus a is equal to zero is the characteristic equation okay so e, e, this is the uh, three by three order matrix so lambda i minus a lambda i is this a then multiply by lambda and then subtract and then we uh, solve this determinant determinant of this is lambda i minus a matrix then determinant of lambda i minus a means determinant of this matrix right uh, two vertical lines it, here is square bracket and then solve this determinant by using your usual method so we have this lambda cube minus 8 lambda square plus 17 lambda minus 4 so this is the characteristic polynomial determinant of lambda i minus a if you find determinant of a minus lambda i then change the sign of that then we have the characteristic polynomial but the uh, and then what is the characteristic equation determinant of lambda i minus a is equal to zero that this is equal to zero so a minus lambda i or lambda i minus a so this is these are the previous uh, lectures examples so now in this part in this example the value of a minus lambda i is determined so this example of all uh, same find the eigenvalues and eigenvectors so all these examples uh, this is the example of characteristic polynomial and the, all these so find uh, determinant of a minus lambda i or lambda i minus a so if you have this is the a minus lambda i so the characteristic polynomial change the sign change the sign lambda square minus 2 lambda minus 3 is the characteristic polynomial okay so same take this this is equal to zero 
this is equal to lambda square minus two lambda minus three is equal to zero. It's a characteristic equation. And then roots are what? Lambda minus three into lambda plus one instead of this lambda minus three. Then we have the same value that uh, the values of uh, in both method three and minus one we have the same eigen value. Similar problem here. Uh, determinant of a minus lambda or find determinant of lambda i minus a. So this is a determinant of a minus lambda i. So change the sign. We have this. This is the characteristic polynomial of the matrix A. So in order to find the characteristic polynomial, find determinant of lambda i minus a. Or first find determinant of a minus lambda i and then change the sign. So this is the characteristic polynomial of A. And the characteristic equation is what? Uh, determinant a minus lambda i is equal to zero or determinant lambda i minus a is equal to zero. One and the same. So this is equal to zero. Lambda q minus 12 lambda square plus 36 lambda minus 32 is equal to zero. Actually, uh, determinant of lambda i minus a is this. But if we change the sign throughout, then we have this equation. Because it is equal to zero now. So you change the sign, we have this. So this is the uh, characteristic equation. Then we have to find the roots of this uh, equation. That is, we have to find the values of lambda. This is the cubic equation. This is the equation of degree 3. So we have three eigenvalues. Okay. So how we can find? Uh, we can find by using synthetic division. So uh, right here, the synthetic division, uh, the coefficient of lambda cube, lambda square, lambda, and the constant coefficient, and then apply 2. We have 0, and then lambda minus 2, lambda square minus 10, lambda plus 16 as the factorization uh, of this uh, polynomial. So I will share uh, how we can ap uh, apply the uh, synthetic division to this. Okay. So in the previous part, we will we have seen these uh, examples of synthetic division. So apply synthetic division. We have this is the factorization of this polynomial. And then uh, this factorization of this volume is lambda minus 2 and lambda minus 8 because minus 2 minus 8 is minus 10 and minus 2 minus 8 multiplication is 60. And then the eigenvectors, not eigenvectors, the, hence the eigenvalues right here. Hence the eigenvalues of matrix A are the roots of this equation are what? 2, 2 and 8. So uh, 2 and 2, but these two are same, but don't write uh, only the eigenvalues of A are 2 and 8. This is wrong answer that the eigenvalues of a are 2 and 8. The eigenvalues of a are what? 2 to 8. Don't write 2 and 8. Uh, one, one, two of them, these, these two are same, but write uh, two times that 2 comma 2, 8. So these are the uh, eigenvalues of this matrix. A is of order 3 by 3. So A has three eigenvalues. So two of them are equal. Now we have to find the eigenvectors of the matrix A. So in order to find the eigenvector, solve the equation or find the uh, solution of the equation A minus lambda i x is equal to 0 or lambda i minus A x is equal to 0. So A minus lambda i. So A minus lambda is this matrix 6 minus lambda minus 2, 2, then minus 2, 3 minus lambda minus 1, 2 minus 1, 3 minus lambda. This is A minus lambda i from this. And x, take x as column matrix x1, x2, x3, 0, 0, 0 as 0 matrix. And then put lambda is equal to 2. So we have to find the eigenvector corresponding to lambda is equal to 2. Then we have to find the lambda is equal to 8. So first, number 1, lambda is equal to 2 in the system 1. Put lambda is equal to 2. So we have this matrix. And then write the equations. So from this uh, matrix form, we have to write the equation 4 into x1 minus 2 into x2 plus 2 into x3 is equal to 0. First equation minus 2 into x1, 1 into x2 plus uh, 1 into x2 minus 1 into x3. Okay. Then 2x1 minus x2 plus x3 is equal to 0. So this is the system. Now we have to solve this system. Okay. So where, how we can solve this system? By using the Gauss elimination method. So consider this A matrix and reduce the matrix to, uh, don't write this group. Uh, consider the matrix A or A0 combination of A and 0 matrix. And convert the matrix to echelon form. This is the echelon form, actually. One uh, throughout the uh, uh, divide uh, by minus two, one, so one minus half, one half. This is the echelon form. So rewrite the equations. So rewrite the equation. We have only one equation, and there are three unknowns. So assign two unknown. So x2 is equal to s, and x3 is equal to t. Then we have x1 as one half s minus one half t from this equation. Okay. 
either we have this equation or we have the another echelon form if your procedure is right then we have the echelon form as one uh, minus half a and this is plus half okay this is the echelon form of this matrix so don't try follow this procedure actually the both are same but we have to consider this matrix and then we have to reduce this matrix to echelon form so how can reduce this matrix to echelon form but first reduce this element to one then uh, this below element zero and then uh, this element one and below element zero but why uh, connoting this element to zero all elements become zero so we have the echelon form uh, and then write rewrite the equations so i will share the answer of this problem uh, this problem this is a uh, solution of this system uh, uh, through whatsapp so this is the solution actually here so this format is not uh, same these values of x1 x2 x3 that is depend on your calculation but uh, we can tally your answer and so the eigen vector corresponding to eigen value lambda is equal to 2 is what x is equal to x1 x2 x3 uh, x1 as 1/2 half, s minus 1/2 half p and x2 as s x3 s t then uh, this is the uh, 1/2 minus 1/2 half p uh, 1 s and 0 t this t is what 0 into s plus 1 p so write is equal to write the coefficient of s s what 1/2 half, 1 0 and then plus t coefficient of t r what minus 1/2 0 1 okay minus 1/2 0 1 no need of this uh, writing this directly you can write this and therefore where s and t are a real number and therefore this this is the first vector and this is second vector are linearly independent vectors or solutions of the above system so uh, corresponding to eigen value lambda is equal to 2 we have two linearly independent eigen vectors uh this two is repeated that's why uh we have eigen values two it is not true uh we may have one eigen value uh, eigen vector linearly independent eigen vector or two linearly independent eigen vector or three linearly independent eigen vector corresponding to single eigen value uh we have corresponding to each eigen value we have one or two or three eigen vectors linearly independent eigen vectors so this is the first this is the second linearly independent solutions or independent eigen vectors of the matrix a then uh, consider lambda is equal to 8 that is substitute lambda is equal to 8 in this system uh, this system equation number 1 lambda is equal to 8 this second uh, eigen value distinct eigen value then we have this is the matrix a then this is x1 x2 x3 0 0 0 Again, we have to solve this system, and we have to find the eigen, uh, find the values of x1, x2, x3. So consider this matrix and convert this matrix to echelon form. Okay, this is the echelon form. Uh, then we have to re uh, rewrite the equations, rewrite the equations, and then uh, we have two equations and three unknowns. So assign one unknown. Suppose x3 is t, then find x2 as minus t from this, and x1 is what? X1 is two uh, t. So x is equal to x1, x2, x3, uh, 2t minus 3t, and then take t as common 2 minus 1 was. So this is the uh, only one independent, linearly independent eigen vector corresponding to eigen value uh, lambda is equal to 8. We have infinitely many eigen vectors uh, corresponding to eigen value lambda is equal to 8, but only one, this 2 minus 1, 1 is only one, which is linearly independent. eigen vector uh, corresponding to lambda is equal to 8 okay so this format the value of x1 x2 x3 this fo format is depend on your calculation the, the, we will uh, see it if we uh, form the if we convert this matrix to echelon form by different methods and that's why uh, this echelon form is not unique and that's why Uh, these values of x1 x2 x3 format of x1 x2 x3 values of x1 x2 x3 may be different but uh, we have to we can tally the answer your answer so uh, substitute x1 as 2t x2 as minus t and x3 as t in this uh, uh, system x1 x2 x3 then we see that uh, the answer is 0 0 0 we have the answer 0 0 0 so if we have to tally this answer x1 x2 x3 then substitute that values of x1 x2 x3 in this system in this system okay and 
we have uh, that all these equations are satisfied these by these values of x1 x2 x3 okay so we can tell you your answer so this is the problem of eigen values and eigen vectors again the same problem find the eigen values and eigen vectors of this matrix so find the determinant of a minus lambda i so a minus lambda i determinant is this okay we have the cubic polynomial okay. and then the characteristic polynomial the characteristic equation is determinant of a minus lambda i is equal to 0 that is this is equal to 0 and then we have the eigen values 1 well, this is minus 1 plus 3 and um, uh, plus 1 1 minus 1 and 3 are the eigen values of the matrix so find determinant of a minus lambda i or, or lambda i minus e we have the cubic polynomial okay and actually we have the characteristic polynomial as lambda okay we have the cubic polynomial so write that cubic polynomial lambda cube lambda square lambda lambda and then constant term and then we have the eigen values this so we have to find the eigen vectors so consider the equation a minus lambda x is equal to zero so a minus lambda is this a minus lambda is this into x means column matrix x1 x2 x3 0 0 0 then substitute lambda is equal to 1 so we have now three distinct eigen values in the previous problem we have uh, three eigen values but uh, two are distinct only uh, a is of order 3 by 3 but in this example we the a, order of the matrix a is 3 by 3 or 3 and we have the three distinct eigenvalues okay so we have to find the eigen vector corresponding to each eigen value so uh, lambda is equal to 1 substitute lambda is equal to 1 first eigen value so we have this matrix then convert this consider this matrix and uh, this matrix a and reduce the matrix to echelon form this is the echelon form okay rewrite the equations so we have three equations uh, three unknowns and two equations we have two equations so assign one unknown so actually x3 is zero from this equation so assign x1 or x2 so substitute x2 as t then x1 is minus t and then for the solution is x1 x2 x3 is minus t t0 okay minus 1 1 0 take t as common so this is linearly independent eigenvector minus 1 1 0 is the linearly independent eigenvector corresponding to eigenvalue lambda is equal to 1. Similarly, substitute lambda is equal to minus 1 in this equation number 1. Substitute lambda is equal to minus 1, second eigenvalue. So we have, after substituting minus 1, we have this system. I can consider this matrix A and reduce the matrix to echelon form. This is echelon form. Uh, if, you consider, if you multiply the second row by 1 half, then we have 1, 1 at this place, and that is the echelon form. Rewrite the equation. And then again, we have the three, uh, three un there are three unknowns and two equations. So assign one unknown. So substitute x3 as t. So x2 is minus t. And x1 from this equation is this. Okay. And then x is equal to x1, x2, x3 is this matrix. Okay. 0 minus t, t. 0 minus 1, 1. Okay. So this is the eigenvector corresponding to eigenvalue lambda is equal to minus 1. Then the third substitute lambda is equal to 3 in this equation number 1. The third eigenvalue. Again, we have the system. This system. Then uh, uh, we have to reduce this matrix to echelon form. Consider this matrix and we have to solve this system. So consider this matrix and uh, reduce this matrix to echelon form. One more step that one half R2. And then rewrite the equations. And we have again two equations and three unknowns. So assign one unknown and find the values of the remaining. So this is the eigen vector corresponding to the eigen value lambda is equal to three. So uh, in all for this example, we have three distinct eigenvalues and three linearly independent eigenvectors. In the previous example, this example, we have two distinct eigenvalues, but we have the three linearly independent eigenvectors. So we will see the uh, remaining example. This is examples in the next lecture. Actually, this is the uh, where to find the eigenvalues of this matrix. This is the upper triangular matrix. So if the matrix is upper triangular matrix, then its diagonal elements are the eigenvalues so 3 2 5 directly by using uh, without uh, applying this procedure we can directly write that the eigenvalues of this matrix are 2 3 5 okay the just diagonal elements are the eigenvalues of that matrix or apply the procedure so we will see this example in the next lecture 